Hi guys, e Dream here. How you doing? <laughs> In today's video, we will be watching something really fun because I thought it is time on the channel to bring back some OT7 content. And today we are watching a video from Bora City Magazine channel. I've reacted before to one of her videos. I think it was like in face promotions time for Jiminy. The video that she did about uh, Jiminy's uh, face album. So yeah, today it is time for another video from Bora City Magazine channel. And it's gonna be the video uh, that uh, she made about her predictions for BTS comeback in 2025. 2025 is approaching very, very fast. Only two months left. So I think it is really, really fun to make some predictions about the comeback and uh, about what will happen uh, when the boys reunite after their military service. I have my thoughts on my own. I just basically think that they will just do something really unexpected and really grand and um, I don't know, something that we've never thought they will do because they always level up everything that they do uh, each time they come up with something uh, new and something that, that we didn't expect. So they, uh, I'm sure they are preparing and I'm sure they are uh, trying some uh, ideas maybe when even when they are in military I don't think it left their minds um, like this 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 time of a comeback, the, the thing that it's approaching and everything. And the members that came back already, like Jin and Hobie, I think they are brainstorming as well. So um, I think they have many ideas in their sleeves, in their back pockets and everything. And they are preparing hard for it already. Uh, but yeah, I, I really, really think it's going to be something that we didn't even ever like, you know, imagine could happen. Um, never thought that would, it, it could with them happen uh, uh, because we always like expect something different and it always happens to be something uh, totally different and totally amazing and, you know, um, that we've never thought it will be <laughs> so yeah i i just think it, it's gonna be something like that and um i don't think they're gonna repeat anything of the things that they already done because they they always venture for something new and something um that they've never did before so yeah you know they are pioneers they always pave the way they always open the doors so they gonna just you know do something uh breaking the the rules something breaking the walls of of the expected of that type of comeback so yeah i'm really really interested in the uh, ideas that bora city will present to us in this video because it's it's so fun to predict as fans as army to each other to exchange ideas and everything and you also in the comments give me your ideas give me your predictions give me your thoughts what you think will happen we know that for sure in 2025 there will be a project in celebration of most beautiful moment in life 10th anniversary that we have like you know uh guaranteed because bank pd said that and the boys said that and he said that is the first thing that they've prepared for um like a group project after the reunion of uh, them coming back so from the military so yeah we know that there's gonna be some big project around that anniversary but beside that like their actual you know album comeback or a single comeback for a brand new song and everything unrelated to their past things it's gonna be something completely different i just have that uh, feeling and i will gladly accept everything they show us everything that they um throw at us and everything that they come up with i will always gladly accept open my heart to it because i know they would uh, always do something that will make me so so happy so 
no matter what it is i will be so happy to receive it but yeah it's really fun to predict so we're gonna see what Bora city predicted in the video i am super excited and i hope you are too so let's go with the pillow like always and yeah let's see what this video is all about uh bora city's random predictions for bts comeback oh my gosh i am really really excited let's have fun together let's do some predictions maybe uh, they are completely not uh, they're gonna do completely not what we think but it's still so fun to just have the ideas and brainstorm about it together so please please put your thoughts and your predictions in the comments as well i want to read them all i want to discuss them with you so yeah but now let's see what Bora city has to say about it three two one and go click something that i don't do here a lot is simply outright fangirl and be excited about bts yes. with no real reasons do for that. arguments so i want to change that by sharing with you my most random predictions for bts yes comeback. girly so let it all out do not yes take this video seriously. Do that with every us. time i say this people still take something too seriously and get of mad of course so i'm begging you there are people do not like that. take this video seriously i'm just being an excited fan which is my yes, usual state do that. of mind outside it's of this the whole serious point. Says I try to do. So these are 18 predictions that I divided into three sections because of course I'm dividing things into sections. Okay. One section <laughs> is very likely to happen because there's a lot of proof. The next section is maybe okay. yes, maybe no, but it's not that crazy to think so. Mm -hmm. And finally, there's the delusional predictions. <laughs> these are more wishes <laughs> than predictions because I don't have any Okay, okay, we can build a little bit a little too. <laughs> I will mix it up a little okay. because I don't want the first section to be <laughs> all boring and oh obvious God, and the oh last God. section to be all crazy. Oh Emphasis on crazy okay. because some of these are literal wishes instead of predictions. Mm -hmm. So again, please I don't understand. take this list too seriously. This no, we are just having fun. fun. So, it's established. Prediction number one, so a global see. cultural phenomenon comeback. Oh. Very likely. So you can expect BTS to sustain that fan Yeah, that's devotion. what I'm that thinking. It's going to be huge. Be I started writing my explanation for this point a long time ago. But Something it turned out to be so detailed that I decided brand, to make it you know, its own In the video. sense of global phenomenon, like she's saying. long explanation, the video mm -hmm. is called Nothing Can Stop Them, The Inevitable Success of BTS. Yeah, comment. I saw I'm that sure, video My prediction is that by myself. Yeah. has such a big obsession with comeback stories mm -hmm. that BTS's comeback is guaranteed to have a strong cultural impact, yeah for not just sure the regular popularity that we've seen for the past years less popular for artists sure. and groups have done the unbelievable with the simple label of comeback so no matter the type of project i know that we will see the headline bts's comeback oh, of course of Number course two, everybody will you know multiple try to have as much engagement as possible from from this event that will be happening like the big word you know the comeback of the group that was in military and came back you know yeah i, I already can see all of that but yeah Solo performances maybe <laughs> Mm, maybe that would be nice oh my gosh imagine guys <gasps> imagine to see like who or like crazy on stage oh my gosh or standing next to you or like um slow dancing from Tate or oh my god or groin from <laughs> oh my god oh my god or or like wildflower or or from hobby oh my god more oh my god or or, or the other songs from um from uh, hope on the street or oh my gosh or <gasps> Yungi's hegum or oh my god yeah 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 or jean i i'll be there right now that dropped oh my god yes yes that would be so nice if they do those solo songs on cults oh my god but we'll see we'll see 
It's basically confirmed by the BTS members that there is going to be a comeback tour. Mm. Of course, the preparation for a tour takes time and yeah. we're going to have to wait a little for that. Yeah. So my prediction is that this tour will have a solo section probably for in 2026. Member, like on the Wings tour and the Speak Yourself tour. Mm -hmm. However, unlike back in the day, the BTS members now have a lot of solo songs. Mm -hmm. So I predict or wish that they each perform more than one solo song. <gasps> oh, yes, 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 that's my wish too. Songs. But I would love to go to a concert where I can see all the members shine on their own in more than just one performance. Yeah. I mean this outside of any solo performances or concerts they may do. Mm -hmm. I want this in an OT7 concert, mm -hmm. but I guess we'll see. Number yeah. three, their comeback song will say BTS is back. Oh, that would be so fun. Why? Why? It's maybe it's not that the Lulu to think of. Maybe like uh, uh, back in the day, I remember, for example, the big comeback of Backstreet Boys was like Backstreet's back, you know, Backstreet is back, Backstreet's back. So, uh, yeah, why not? Why not? It is back or something like that oh that would be fun that would be fun yeah oh <laughs> yeah 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 i would enjoy that why not maybe it's some would say it's kind of you know cheesy title and everything but no i don't think so it would be fun it would be fun i always enjoy stuff like that so so yeah yeah okay in their songs kind of like a producer type However, mm. they tend to be very subtle. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I miss the whisper of sugar so much. I miss that. You know, we can listen to it to all, in all of the songs to, to this whisper always, so... It's like a funny thing to say that you miss that when you can hear it whatever you want. But you know what I mean? I miss that in in sense of hearing it in another new song in, in that type of sense. So like, you know, yeah, <laughs> like in his current voice, like a little bit more mature, even more mature than, than on the previous tracks. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. All these clips, it made it more noticeable. But mm. I promise it's not that obvious. However, when they released the remix of Savage Love, they had a very noticeable loud introduction. Oh, yeah. Since then, I've been obsessed with the idea of having an introduction like this again. For their comeback song, I want them to shout something. Ooh, it can be BTS like yeah. in Savage Love, or it can be BTS is back like in Spine Breaker. <laughs> I love that in Spinebreaker. There's zero indication that they will say BTS is back. And it's also very random. Mm. But I'm just blinded by this idea because titles like Elvis is back and Backstreet's back. Exactly. Are... See, I, I just told you about that. Backstreet's back, Elvis. Exactly. See, see, my brain, we think alike. <laughs> so good. Backstreet's back. All right. Yes, Number girly! Four. Yes, no I'm so happy that she mentioned that. Maybe. What, what, what? Collaboration in a while. Oh. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe no collabs. I'm sure know. there's a line of artists waiting to collaborate with BTS. Mm -hmm. However, I believe that BTS will prioritize themselves in their big comeback moment. Yeah, I like think that too. they prioritize themselves during the end of chapter one. Mm -hmm. I believe that there is a possibility of collaborations on remixes. But when it comes to the main single or singles that they are going to come back with, I think it's going to be just them. So, I think example, that too. Instead of releasing singles like Boy With Love that has no promoted version without Halsey or Seven that has no promoted version without Lido, I believe BTS will release singles by themselves. Maybe and only yeah. maybe there can be a remix I think that too. Like That's Batman a good prediction. Remix. But I believe that the main version of their next couple of singles will be just them. Yeah. Number five. Yeah, for more sure. More music in English. <laughs> Very likely. So yes, I would love that. I would love that. 
oh my god I believe most of their music will be in Korean yes, I me have too. a strong feeling that they will continue releasing music in English of some sort some thought that yeah. many BTS were tired of their releases in English because of their exhaustion expressed during Festa but now I believe more and more that they said this not because of the language of the songs but because these songs always require them to act happy and energetic performance after performance BTS's songs in English tend to be mm. less serious and have the purpose to be mega promoted mm. but during the hiatus the majority of the members have released music in English yeah. the difference is that now these are not all happy cheerful songs mm -hmm. and they are from so many different genres yeah. whether they are mainstream pop or more She's alternative she's so the right BTS with this seem heavily yeah. inclined to continue releasing songs in English they just won't necessarily be like the old songs mm. as a personal prediction I can picture BTS singing and performing whenever I listen to Who by Jimin and yeah, Standing Next yeah, to You by Jungkook yeah, yeah. but we'll have to see I talk exactly. more about this prediction on this video mm. number six no Japanese music in a while mm, maybe. maybe maybe but who knows they kind of always love uh, to have uh, the Japanese albums along with the Korean and, and English things so maybe I'm not sure I'm not sure we will see but their Japanese songs are always so beautiful so just like majestic and and just oh just like fairy tales on their own like yeah I don't know I don't know maybe This is a sad prediction for me because I love the original Japanese mm. songs. They just have a certain genre and style that exactly, lets them shine see, in a specific exactly. way. It's beautiful I think exactly and sentimental the to watch them perform their Japanese ballads. Yeah. However, I do not see the common practice of at least one original Japanese song a year mm. in a realistic and healthy comeback schedule. Much less a Japanese album every two years full of Japanese remix of their Korean songs. Mm. I understand that Japanese albums are a big deal in K-pop. Mm -hmm. Japan is the second biggest music market in the world after yeah. the United States. Mm -hmm. But BTS has come to a point where they don't need to release music in Japanese to chart in Japan. Their songs in Korean and English are big That's in Japan true. and don't need a Japanese version anymore. Mm -hmm. So why would they take an unnecessary extra step on this new chapter of their careers? Mm. Maybe I'm wrong, but again, it's just a prediction. Mm -hmm. Number seven, I understand. BTS I understand. and Latin artist collaboration delusional mm. prediction <gasps> oh i love becky, I love becky. <laughs> I know this goes against my own prediction about no collaborations for a while. Mm, but but yeah, why? Latina music is very, very uh, on top right now. So maybe, maybe, but not only for this reason, they have good connections with uh, Latin artists and they've been speaking, uh, you know, Spanish in a um, few of their songs and yeah why not why not that would However, be cool after some time passes i want to believe that there is a possibility that bts will release a collaboration with a latin artist mm. not a remix but a proper collaboration mm. i know j-hope and jimin have already collaborated with latin artists mm -hmm. but i want bts to have a collaboration as a group mm -hmm. hype has already created hype latin america so it's not that random of an idea but at the end of the day it's not. i do think it's kind of delusional because bts mm -hmm. don't really do this kind of big favors for the company yeah a proper collaboration from that would be point a yeah. lot of work and if they don't show artistic interest or connection with a latin artist i don't think it will happen mm -hmm. but i can still dream yeah. number eight <laughs> a new bts room life maybe maybe oh that would be so cool to do like compilation of hiatus two their types of songs. performances have become very popular in korea mm. one is the very well shot choreographies from either studio tune mm. or one decay originals or performance 37. Yeah. i like those but i'm way more interested in the vocal focused performances from channels like killing boys or it's live mm -hmm. specifically in the killing boys artists sing live a snippet of multiple of their songs yeah i saw that performance before that shows some especially highlights the mama of their discography. 
BTS did their I own love version Mamamoo. of this type of performance in 2021 like titled them, let BTS me know. Room Life. So mm. whether it's on any of these channels or on their own channel with a BTS Room Life, mm. I would love to get another vocal focused hey, mashup Jackie. performance <laughs> like this. And I say that this is a maybe prediction because these oh, types I of love performances Jackie. have become I love this Korea. Room Life. So it's oh. not that random. Number 9. I a watch new, it so often. The most beautiful moment in life era. Very likely. Yeah, yeah. We have that guaranteed even. That's only very likely. BTS has mentioned a 10th year anniversary that. project yeah. for the most beautiful moment in life. Exactly. Yes, yes. We know. And Ban Si Hyuk also said that. Yeah. Yeah, this, this, exactly. That's what I had in mind. The question is what kind of project? It can still just yeah. be some kind of special retrospective event mm -hmm. or a song. Mm -hmm. But I'm hoping for an album following the theme of the most beautiful moment in life era. Mm -hmm. An album is a big project, mm -hmm. but whatever it is, I'm excited that this is a very likely prediction. Mm -hmm. Number 10, bang on streaming platforms. Delusional prediction. Oh, that would be so awesome. <gasps> To have Bang on Spotify finally! Is because we've been asking for this for so long. Yes. There are many BTS songs that have not been officially released mm. and they are nowhere to be found on streaming platforms. Yes. You can only listen to them on SoundCloud. Exactly. Some of these songs are We Are Bulletproof Part 1, mm -hmm. I Know, 4 O'Clock, One Verse, a special version of So Far Away, and of course, Dang by the rap line. Yeah! Since Dang was released in 2018, oh. it became an instant fan favorite. And the BTS members know this. So since then, we have all been in the collective delusion. <laughs> yes, we did do. We did and, and, and we do. <laughs> These delusions yeah. have increased in the past few years. I really thought that they could have released it in their album Proof in 2022 they because this up. was an anthology album yeah. and this was literally the perfect opportunity to officially release an official song but they released Born Singer instead mm. which makes total sense mm. so then I thought that maybe they will release it during their anniversary in 2023 because that was their first anniversary on hiatus and they mm. had no songs to release mm. but they actually pre-recorded a new song mm. so then I thought okay it couldn't happen in 2022 or 2023 but they don't have anything pre-recorded for 2024 so this is the time mm. but of course their anniversary came and there was no dang on spotify <laughs> just like many other armies i choose to continue with my delusion and Aww. i predict that dang <laughs> will be on the streaming platforms in 2025 or maybe let's and hope this is my let's reasoning. hope before <laughs> each bts member released their first official solo project during the hiatus mm -hmm. they added their unofficial songs from soundcloud mm -hmm. on the streaming platforms mm -hmm. All the members did this before yeah. releasing their debut single they made their unofficial songs official songs mm -hmm. so what if bts does the same and releases them alongside other unofficial songs right before they release their comeback single that would be is so cool me, why would they bring all music into their new chapter but i can still dream number that would 11 be cool. rm plays the saxophone on stage ah, that would be so awesome <laughs> Yes, he is so good with the saxophone right now, with the practicing that he is doing for, you know, the military band that he is in. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. Oh my gosh, I want to see that too. Oh my god. During his military enlistment, Namjoon has learned how to play the saxophone. Yes. That is all the proof I have that we will get a Namjoon <laughs> saxophone performance. Oh. I don't know if it's going to oh be gosh, a solo live performance young. or a new song with BTS, <laughs> or it can also be a duet with Taeyeon. Oh. That would be very exciting. But <gasps> yes, it, is, it would I choose be. to believe in the existence of a Namjoon saxophone live performance. Oh. I don't think it's that crazy of a prediction. Oh. I know Namjoon said he wants to learn how to play more instruments while in the military, oh. but even if it's just a one-time thing, like the time Jungkook played the drums during Dynamite, I believe that seeing him on stage playing the saxophone can definitely happen. Yes! Number 12, oh music my gosh, videos on yes. Bangtan TV. Delusional Ooh. prediction. Oh, that would be interesting. 
That would be super interesting. Just like many other armies, I would love for BTS to release their music videos on their YouTube channel Bangtan TV instead of hype labels. There's mm. a lot of benefits for this. Starting with the fact that I don't want to see 50 videos of artists I don't care about on my YouTube homepage every day. Mm. I only want to get notifications for BTS's videos. Mm. However, there's zero indication that this will happen. Yeah, especially knowing that the BTS I members have so. only released their solo music videos on hype labels. Mm. So although this is a very unlikely prediction, I will never stop wishing for mm, it. Yeah, number I understand. 13, I understand that. 100 number one. Very likely. Look at that. <laughs> it has to be oh it has to be it's gonna the happen no matter what a very difficult chart to be part of not even the biggest artists can guarantee a good spot for themselves however with such a big fandom their years-long experience with the chart and the label of comeback that bts will inevitably carry it's extremely likely that the first official single bts releases after their military enlistment will debut a number one on the hot 100 the song's genre to. language it has emotions to. will determine how many weeks it will stay at number one or the top 10 but i think that the debut at number one is guaranteed life goes song was a so random too. slow song in korean with no promotions no radio play with only one version and it debuted at number one exactly now, has way more attention because it's their comeback after being in the military yeah everyone is waiting for it mm. so a number one debut is very likely to happen yeah number 14 a Jimmy Fallon BTS special. Maybe. Maybe, but I think it's very likely to. I think that Jimmy is already lined up like first. Like he reserved this performance. He reserved that already. Like I think a long time ago. And I think they would be uh, most comfortable to have a comeback on, on his show not any other one so yeah yeah i think it might be even very likely not only maybe but but yeah the one late night show that bts comes back to year yeah, after year yeah. is the tonight show starring exactly. jimmy fallon some of the members even went by themselves during their solo mm -hmm. promotions so a comeback appearance at the tonight show is very likely However, I'm hoping for some kind of BTS special. This means something more yeah. than just a performance and an interview. BTS already had two specials at the Tonight Show. One was the New York City Subway special, mm -hmm. in which BTS were interviewed on a New York subway, mm -hmm. played the Subway Olympics, mm -hmm. served sandwiches at Cat's Deli, and performed at Grand Central Terminal. Exactly. Their other special was the BTS Week, in which BTS were interviewed, played different games, performed an a cappella version of Dynamite with Jimmy and the Roots, and were the musical guests for an entire week of the show. Yes, so prediction of please an appearance do it again. Tonight Show that it's so kind of awesome. obvious, but an special of any kind is not that obvious. It's just something that I really want oh, to happen. Oh my Number gosh, 15, all of those things. I can't wait for them sketch. to happen. Delusional prediction. No. That would be cool, but... BTS yeah, it might fall into the little a little bit. <laughs> episode in 2019. Mm. However, they were only the musical guests, mm -hmm. so they didn't act in any comedy sketches. Years after their SNL appearance, BTS said that they loved being on SNL. Mm. <laughs> So I wouldn't mm. be surprised if they are back as musical guests. However, I want to see them in a comedy sketch. And yeah, I'm not that sure that's so something fun. they would be comfortable They are with. all yes. such comedians. It's perfect. Oh my gosh. It would be awesome. But who knows? <laughs> sketches in SNL are live and I feel like American TV shows don't know what to do with the language barrier. Mm. So although it may not happen, I can still dream. Yeah. Stephen Colbert, James Corden, and Jimmy Fallon found ways to do pre-recorded comedy sketches with BTS. And <laughs> SNL still has the possibility of having BTS in one of those comedy songs they do. I'm still not convinced by my own prediction, but I don't care. <laughs> I just want it to happen. Number yeah. 16 a special performance at the AMAs. Mm, maybe. 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 We don't stop. 
I have this prediction simply because the last two times BTS performed at the American Music Awards or the AMAs, this award show gave them the opportunity to have more than one regular performance. In 2020, yeah. BTS performed Life Goes Song and Dynamite back to back. Mm. And in 2021, BTS were planned to have two collaborative stages. They ended up having one collaborative stage and one regular performance mm -hmm. because of an incident. But my point is that the AMAs seem more open than other award shows to the idea of giving BTS more than just one song to perform. Yes! The gave them their American TV debut and their first American Artist of the Year award. Mm -hmm. So I think the AMAs are more than willing to give BTS the space to have some kind of a special comeback yeah. performance at their awards. Yeah, I completely agree with that. The one thing that can that. destroy my prediction though is BTS. <laughs> I feel like BTS always prefer the Billboard Music Awards or the BBMAs mm. over the AMAs. Mm. And if they decide to have a comeback stage in any of these American award shows, it would be the BBMAs, not the AMAs. Mm. I talk about the relationship BTS has with the big three American award shows here. Mm -hmm. Maybe that video can make this prediction make more sense. Mm -hmm. Number 17, more choreographies. Very likely. Oh, for sure. They are all practicing. I really dislike the idea that 27 or 32 are ages that are too old to dance. Exactly. That is such a new K-pop idea and I hate it. These exactly, were the ages me of too. Jackson and Asher when they had some of their most iconic dance years. With that exactly. said, I believe that during this hiatus, all the BTS members have shown that their connection to dance is too deep to stop altogether, either through choreographies on their solo performances or through their constant dance practices. Even while in the military, they are still dancing. Exactly. So I it's extremely likely that we will continue seeing them perform with choreographies. I Not know it. That, but I predict an iconic choreography like Dionysus on or Yes! Or I want that we'll so see. badly. Number 18. New hairstyles. <laughs> <Revolutionary> <laughs> <predictions>. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah. I would love some colors. I oh, think colors even the back. BTS members have an idea of what their hairstyles are going to be for their comeback. Mm. So here are my very random predictions. <laughs> okay. At least one has to become true. Okay. Starting with the obvious one, Jimin is going to be blonde because that is his natural hair color. He was yeah. going to be blonde. Aaron has recently mentioned wanting a perm. And knowing that his hair grows very fast, I think he will get a hairstyle similar to Taeyeon's in 2020. Oh my god, that would be so awesome. Okay. Can you imagine Juni in a perm? Oh my god! I think he will get a hairstyle similar to Taeyeon's in 2020-2021. I predict or wish that Jungkook will stay away from the scissors <laughs> and go back to his hair during the golden promotions. And by mm. that, I mean like in 7 not standing next to you. Mm. In my delusions, Jin will go back to the purple hair. But realistically, <laughs> he will have his very common short black hair. I feel like J-Hope has pretty much stayed with his wavy dark brown hairstyle for the past years. But I want to believe that he will give this one hairstyle a comeback. He mm. had these blonde highlights for one second. Oh, so he looked so cool in that hairstyle. With Taeyeon, I would love to see him in either a caramel blonde like in DNA or layover or a crazy color. Literally any crazy color. Mm. Blue, purple, pink, orange, any of those. Mm. In my delusions, Suga will go back to his mint hair because oh, they are my going gosh. to have Yeah, mint that's mint. my delusion as well. I miss his mint hair so much. Oh, if Jimini goes orange and uh, <laughs> Yonki goes mint, I'm gonna go crazy. Oh my god. I love those it's colors on them so any much. crazy color. Blue, purple, pink, so orange, So much. Any of those. In my delusions, Suga will go back to his mint hair because oh. they are going to have their new The Most Beautiful Moment in Life era. Exactly. But realistically, <laughs> I would love to see Suga in a lighter brown and long hair. Mm. I don't care if none of these make sense and they all end up having black hair. At this don't point, care, girl. I'm just don't care. Toss on them. So those are all the predictions or wishes that I can think they of. They are now. awesome. I have very I similar ones. Just for fun. Don't take it seriously. I'm I just know. excited because the return is closer and closer. Yes! So let me know yes! In the comments what it your is. predictions oh my God. are. It can be serious predictions. We are surviving. We ain't gonna make it. Time, remember to support the solo project. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, that was such an awesome video. I enjoyed that so, so much. And like you saw, I have very similar thoughts to Bora City. <laughs> so yeah, I, I found that extremely fun. And yeah, yeah, 
I I think I think some of those things might really happen and we would be so happy if they do so yeah let's wait and see and hope for the best and <laughs> but yeah uh, either way I I just really think we will be also very very you know blown away by the scale and by the uh you know completely unexpected uh, different uh, direction that they will just uh, come out of nowhere with <laughs> and yeah uh, like like they always surprise us so much with every new chapter new album new uh concept so yeah yeah, I, I cannot wait for all of this and I really hope some of those things, those very likely things and maybe things will happen and even the, the Lulu ones, oh, that would be so, so awesome. But yeah, I really enjoyed that. I really, really did. All right, my lovely. So that was my reaction to this Bora City magazine predictions of BTS comeback in 2025 and beyond because uh we don't know if they're gonna drop in 2025 immediately an album or we will have to wait for 2026 but um yeah yeah we know that the project of the anniversary is going to happen for sure and um then we will see what else gonna be on the way in the works and how everything will develop but yeah, I'm just I'm just hoping it, it it's gonna be all like oh blowing away the world and then number ones and everything hot one hundred and every other thing every um uh, you know late show and every interview and everything it's just like oh oh oh. oh it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be amazing and i really hope i will have uh, time and uh you know ability to be there for all of it because uh well next year is gonna be probably the year finally when i will move to my new uh house new location so I will have a lot of things to do there, a lot of things, but yeah, I will just do everything in my power to find time to be there uh, for uh, the things that I need to be there uh, connected to BTS and to you guys. So don't worry, I will figure it out. <laughs> All right then, um, I hope you liked watching this video with me today. And if you did, please leave this video a like, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Love you, purple you, till the next time. Bye!